I was washing my coffee and drinking my clothes this morning. That's when I realized I was doing it backwards. And that got me thinking. Good day, you absolute legends. Welcome back to another edition of Update News. Now, in today's video, breaking news. An update, ladies and gentlemen, is imminent. It will be here anytime and we have all of the latest information in this video so make sure you stick until the very end to get all of the latest scoop also don't forget to leave a like on this very video it really does help me out a lot and please make sure that you are still subscribed to the channel as we know youtube goes through certain cycles and they like to unsubscribe you the viewer from your favorite youtubers without your knowledge or consent so please make sure you are still subscribed if you need to resubscribe resubscribe and if you have been watching me for a while you like what i do then why not tickle that subscribe button for me you won't regret it anyway let's get into today's video holy fudge balls the last 12 hours has been rather intense with a lot of new developments so let's start off very first of all with mr murray's twitter now this is where it all kind of started with this post right here mr murray replied to a chap called jeff kingley Keely, whoever jeff we'll call him jeff i love watching new video game trailers and mr murray put just as well now that is a little bit sus if you ask me but who is jeff this is jeff everyone say hello to jeff now jeff is the main guy for the summer game fest that's gonna go live on the 7th of june as you can see it just said so right there that's literally how i know that now what does this have to do with anything at all and, and why is this such a big deal well as you can imagine because mr murray put just as well to jeff's comment of i love watching new video game trailers now new video game what's new coming from hello games in probably the next 12 months or so that is right, light nor fire. So the community is absolutely hyping, buzzing at the same time, major, major, major hype overload that there's going to be a brand new light nor fire trailer and it's going to be hosted at the Summerfest, which again is absolutely incredible. But how does that mean now that this is breaking news and an update is now imminent and we're talking about Norman Sky. Well, when Mr. Murray posted this, not long after, something changed on Steam DB. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That is a brand new internal branch update. And if you look at the build ID number, the latest version that we have on public is 142. However, in the new internal branch is 145. That is a massive, massive leap compared to the version that we have right now. Now, first of all, you could discredit this as just another patch update, nothing to look at here. However, something else also happened when the internal branch updated. And again, you are seeing that correctly. As that updated over on SteamDB, virtually straight away, I mean, there was literally about a 10 minute gap between the two, Nintendo went on sale at 50% off. This is flipping massive. But it didn't just stop there. We now have an offer date until the 10th of next month. But if we then look over to Xbox to see if anything else then started to go on sale, well, look at this. Xbox, ladies and gentlemen, went on sale just after Nintendo. And then Steam went on sale just after Xbox. But what about the PlayStation? Well, at the time of this recording, PlayStation was still set at full price. But I heavily suspect that today that will change. Now, if we are now just waiting for PlayStation to change, and obviously we now have an internal branch update Plus that we have a Steam sale, an Xbox sale, a Nintendo sale, and no doubt shortly after a PlayStation sale. What does this all actually mean? Well, if we look at patterns, if we look at what I've already speculated on with the prediction model, then the prediction model did say anywhere between the 2nd and the 3rd of next month, we should technically be expecting an update and it has come true. So it looks like it could even be earlier than the second. It could be just a little bit after the second. Now, with, for example, with Nintendo, the price for that 
uh, for the discount is only until the 10th. So whatever's going to happen will be before the 10th of June. But personally, ladies and gentlemen, looking at it, I suspect that this is definitely going to be the next major update. I don't think it's going to be an expedition. I definitely do not think it's going to be a patch update because everything's going on sale and it's gone on sale now worldwide. We have sales in the American versions of the game, Canadian version of the game, uh, France, Germany, obviously the UK as well. All the major countries that we look for whenever there's a major update like actual content update not just an expedition not just a, a, a patch update has now all started to happen so in my mind what is coming next is going to be big this is going to be a major major update and what do I think as well about the Summerfest game thing that Mr. Murray's replied to and it's got the community now in such a kerfuffle and everyone is speculating, including myself, I think there's going to be another game trailer for Light No Fire. Well, I think that game trailer is going to announce the release date. That is what I'm expecting. And to be fair, it would be about right. If Light No Fire has then a release date with a brand new trailer, usually a release date is anywhere between 6 and 12 months away for the community to get excited about. So basically, if they put out a new trailer, it should have the release date. The release date should be 6 or 12 months from now, which then would go perfectly with what everyone's been saying all along that Light No Fire will be coming out early to mid next year, which again is super, super hype, super excited and super interesting. So I am looking forward now to watching the, the game, the Summer Game Festival and seeing what that trailer is all about. So I'll make sure that anything that does come from that will be posted on this channel as well. So you're fully in the world in case you don't get to see the game festival. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I can't even get my words out today. There's just been so much happening. Super excited all around. Okay, so enough ramblings from a lunatic. I'm going to stick to script. I'm getting very, very excited about all this stuff, as you can probably tell. Now, what happens next? I suspect that in the next 24 to 48 hours, or maybe just a little bit more than that, I take take the time scale here with a massive pinch of salt, of course. But I suspect that Mr. Murray will be more active over on his Twitters and maybe even release and emoji drop, which again will fuel the fire that this is going to be another major update and everyone then will start speculating. On top of that, I think that we might see more updates to the internal branch between now and the major update release. So keep an eye out on SteamDB for those who don't know, just Google SteamDB Norman Sky and look for the little tag where it says depots. That's where you'll get all the information there. So everyone start keeping an eye out for this stuff because it's going to be changing over the next few days, no doubt. It is a very, very exciting time for Norman Sky. And what do I think as well that's going to be in the the big update well we can speculate until our heart's content and nobody will know 100 for sure until it happens now there is a very good bet that it will be the next part of the story arc the ig story arc to do with the brood mother it will be no doubt something to do with the art of ages and just the whole lore storyline behind that that i'm pretty much sure of but anything else is pretty much up for speculation and i'm going to try and keep that under management this time around but what we can expect is some new eye candy to the game new items of course they might be new ships it might not be new ships but they could also be new gameplay features like we've seen in the last few updates where they put in like for example the expedition terminal uh, the new teleporters inside the anomaly we've had the new space station so maybe they're going to be upgrading that we know that norman sky well in norman sky there's going to be racing coming in the future because the new ships will were labeled in the game filed as races and obviously there are racing decals splattered all over the new uh the new spaceships and including the new uh space stations as well so there could be something to do with that it might be in this one might not be but that's probably where it's gonna lie but anything else 
extra is going to be a bonus. But to be fair, I would just be happy personally if they was, if it just fixed bugs and just made a, a massive, massive bug update with a few extra features thrown in. I would be happy with that. So anything in my eyes that they do bring to the table is going to be a bonus to the game that is already here but ladies and gentlemen let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this are you hyped are you on the hype train that there is an update imminent do you think that everything that i've spoken about today does indicate that an update is imminent or are you on the fence of well maybe it could be an expedition or maybe it's just a very big very big patch update where do you stand with that let me know in the comment section down below anyway ladies and gentlemen that is everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now